So imagine two star-crossed lovers finally meet after all this time and then to go their separate ways to fight their war on their respective fronts. But what if it didn't end there? What if Optimus Prime decided to stay on Cybertron with Elita One and her resistance squad to take the war there rather than going back to Earth to fight Megatron in a Generation 1 cartoon? Let's find out on the other side of the Matrix. side of the matrix so this topic was actually suggested to me on a previous what if video on youtube by a viewer who said what if optimus prime chose to stay and fight with elita one ariel on cybertron so i'm going to do this quickly from two points very quickly you're going to go to the war dawn kind of stage where we have orion pax and ariel becoming optimus prime and elita one we kind of picked this up with Optimus and Alita, Orion Pax and Ariel being damaged and then resurrected into the characters that we know and love today. This is perceived to be four million years ago. So nothing's going to change too much from this point. They still become the new characters. But really, this is going to tie into the War for Cybertron Netflix Siege series. You see the kind of underground resistance of the Autobots starting in its infancy. Not much is going to change here. You see the two of them fight side by side with Alita taking up much more of a lieutenant role. So that's not going to change too much and it's very much where these two start. The cartoon shows that Optimus and Alita kind of become sweethearts or long cross lovers and we're seeing into why into the War Dawn episode. Where we go on to the search for Alpha Trion and how there is this party that goes to Cybertron and you get the likes of Inferno, Ironhide, Powerglide, Firestar, Chromia, to name but a few, to fight alongside Elita One and to take the fight to Shockwave. What happens here at the end of the day when Optimus says his goodbye and goes back as he says he would? What if Ironhide, Inferno, Powerglide, the rest all went back to the Ark and Optimus decided to stay? So there's two routes here, two big points. Let's say then that Ironhide and the others all go back to Earth. That leaves the Autobots in the Ark with kind of a rudderless point. You would imagine the likes of Prowl and Jazz would be the leaders, the standing leaders, but they're sufficiently reduced without the likes of Optimus there. Megatron is still a very powerful force. And the only thing that would be as equal is really Grimlock. And this isn't Marvel Comics Grimlock, this is very much an unpredictable warlord who will not necessarily take the leadership mantle, he could certainly take the strength to Megatron, but they needed that cool, calm, collective, strong leader that Optimus was and they will no longer have. This is going to be the biggest problem for the Autobots on Earth. Megatron will know this. He will realise that the Autobots and the Ark crash into the side of the mountain will be Whilst at full strength, in terms of their numbers, they will be down on a leader, a very strong leader, and he will want to press the advantage. But the other side to this is much more interesting. So if Optimus joined up with Elita's renegade force, they're only really fighting Shockwave and maybe some Sentinels, but we know that Alpha Trion is there. We know that there is resources to claw on and whilst the planet is war torn it's not depleted it's now got this renegade force that alita and her comrades have put together but it's now got the added benefit of optimus joining in this has big impacts as well much like with megatron's advantage on earth this is now optimus's advantage on cybertron i would think over time with the added addition of optimus Shockwave, who we get glimpses of throughout the cartoon, is losing power, is struggling. So now Optimus is going to take the fight and eventually I think Shockwave will fall. The resources, he's too depleted. There's no one else, the Rainmakers maybe, to back him up. The Sentinels will take power that they don't really have. And so Optimus is bringing that extra edge and I think there will come a time where Optimus and Alita overtake Cybertron under Autobot control. This has problems for Megatron. Megatron's ace up his sleeve has always been the space bridge, getting resupplies or being able to transport to and from Cybertron. 
and that space bridge, whilst it's very often used by the Autobots, is under Decepticon control, but now the other side of it is not as protected as it once was. And that's going to lose Megatron's advantage. Eventually, Megatron will feel the effects of that. Their energy supplies will be depleted. They can't send troops to and from Cybertron as they once did. So Optimus will know that, and holding on to Cybertron will be a big win for them. But likewise, Megatron will know that the Autobots are struggling without Optimus. They will hold out. They are still at full strength, minus one big bot. But eventually Megatron will overwhelm them. He is an incredibly strong opponent for the Autobots to deal with. And the Autobots will just have to try and hold out on Earth while Optimus could do his best on Cybertron. But think about where this runs to. Think about how this could turn on. Say Cybertron comes under Autobots control. Say Shockwave is overrun, defeated, taken a prisoner. How does this go into the 1986 movie? When this starts, it's more or less the Autobots on Earth in Autobot City. That's their stronghold, and the Decepticons have got Cybertron. Does that change? Do the Decepticons have Decepticon City on Earth, and Earth is somewhat taken by the Decepticons with Cybertron under Autobot control? Does that change the landscapes for that? The big question is, will the Autobots hold out? I can see Cybertron being overrun by Optimus and Elita, and then under their control, and maybe even turning the space bridge to their advantage. Maybe the Autobots have that link that they never had in the Generation 1 cartoon in Seasons 1 and 2. So that could be quite a telling point. But do the Autobots hold out without Optimus Prime? Optimus was always the strongest. He always rallied the troops, but he could always lead from the front, and he would always give Megatron something to think about. With the exception of Grimlock, does anyone stand up to Megatron? Braun gives it a good go. Maybe Jazz, Prowl, Ironhide like to have a go as well. You're relying on Grimlock if he can be bothered. You haven't got Ultra Magnus to take up that leadership mantle. It's way before Rodimus. So, the Autobots without Optimus Prime has been well played out through history that they are weaker without Optimus at the helm. That's going to be the big sticking point. Can they survive without Optimus whilst he does what he can with Elita on Cybertron? Do they overcome Shockwave? I think they do. I think Shockwave will have some tricks up his own sleeve, but I think ultimately, with the depleted state of Cybertron and the added effect of Optimus, Cybertron is theirs for the taking. Optimus, though, is true to his word, heads back to Earth and joins him with his comrades, which you could say they win out. The ultimate plan was to stop Megatron taking over Earth and draining its energy on its resources. And come the 1986 movie, it's the Autobot who have the key presence on Earth with Autobot City. So you could argue that staying away was the right thing, but if he chose to go to Cybertron and stay there with Alita, could they have taken their homeworld back? Could they have had that kingpin move that Megatron used quite well, could they have taken that advantage away from him? And how would that have changed things going into the 86 movie and the introduction of Unicron? And there we go. That is what if Optimus and Alita stayed on Cybertron or what if Optimus Prime stayed on Cybertron with Alita? How would it change things going in for the rest of the war, really? I want to say a big shout out to the person who put that in the comment. I cannot find a comment now, so I don't know if it's been deleted, but thank you for the idea and suggesting the idea. If you have any ideas that you want me to do on these what if videos, do leave them in the comments below. I'm always happy to give different scenarios a new try and put on some different takes, but let me know your thoughts as well. Do you think this is how it would play out? I'm sure your opinions will be different. Everyone's got their own view on these kind of things. Let me know your view. I'd like to know what you think. But thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you on the next one.